Hey, Cam, how you doing today, man? I'm doing good. Uh, can you first, I guess, uh, how was your workout today? I mean, how would you describe what they had you do, like, in drill-wise, stuff like that? Yeah, it was a really great, it was a really great workout today. Um, we did a lot of shooting. You know, we did a lot of shooting today, a lot of spot shooting, movement shooting. So that was a little bit of the drills. Didn't play a lot of three-on-three, three, a little bit of one-on-one. -on -one. So it was, a, it was a great workout for me. Thank you. I know uh, shooting is obviously a big part of your game, man. Um, can you first explain just how the aspect of your game will uh, look, do you think, maybe in the NBA? And then also, what do you have to improve on so you're not just a shooter out there as well? Yeah, I mean, um, my game can translate to the NBA just fine because the NBA is a premium for scoring now. And I can put the ball on the floor, create a uh, spot, shoot. I'm, I'm a three-level scorer, can get to the line. So I feel like my game would translate just fine to the NBA. And for what I need to work on, just, you know, just um, work on my body still, you know, because you're complaining as grown men. So you got to work on your body, keep keep getting in good shape, great shape. So, you know, I just want to keep working on those kind of stuff, you know, and just learning different terminology in the NBA. So I feel like I can work on those things just fine, and I'll be fine. <laughs> you obviously played just one year of college. Um, just why do you feel uh, after that one year that you're ready to, to take this next leap? And then, um, you know, do you think that, that one year made you prepared and ready for this league that you're about to take. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm very, I'm very mature to be an NBA player already. Um, my discipline, my work, ethic, my work ethic. So I feel like those two things really make me an NBA player. And I just from the make, make the leap, I averaged 23 points a game as a freshman. So I feel like it was only right to take the next step. So that's what I feel. Like. And then just last thing is, can you? Um, I guess ex explain that the Hornets like a young team right now. They have plays like Lamelo. Um, you know, PJ Washington, Miles Bridges, guys like that. I mean, with you being young as well, do you feel like it would make it a little bit easier for you to come in here with a quote like that because they're on the same age as you are, per se? Yeah, definitely, because we're all around the same age, I think. Um, Miles follows me on Instagram. I follow him. So we so I know I know a little bit about him. You know, I know LaMelo. Well, not personally, but you know, heard of him, know him. So I know I know a lot of, you know, the guys on the team, so or heard of him. So it's just I think it will be a really good a good transition for all of us to be young, so it's an easy transition to relate to them better, relate to me as well. Then just last thing, the draft's obviously next week, about a week away or so, man. It's a little bit of nerves right now. The workout's kind of almost what you want to get them over with. How are you feeling right now emotionally leading to the draft next week? Uh, you know, just want to hurry up and finish these workouts, you know, and just prepare for the big day. You know, next Thursday is the big day, so you just want to finish these workouts as quick as possible, and whatever happens, happens. So I just want to Keep going hard and finish strong. Thank you, man. Good luck. Thank you so much. Let's go over to Will. Hey, Cam. Uh, obviously, you know, when you think about these workouts, I think we all are curious kind of what kind of feedback all these guys get. What kind of feedback have the Hornets and other teams giving you about your game, what they want you to work on? Uh, they've just been telling me great workouts. So I feel like the workouts has been great. Is it, is it frustrate you a bit? Like, I, I almost feel like the team should, because I feel like we get that same answer from a lot of guys. Does it frustrate you that it's like, you know, you don't really have anything? Like, you know, if you ask what to work on, you know, can they can they give you some? Yeah, I mean, you always get good feedback, but, you know, you just take it, you just take it and, and try to work on it. And if they draft you, they'll, they'll help you work on it. So you just try to take take their feedback and work on it. Guys, have anything else for Cam? Mike Salarte, last question. Hey, Cam, good to see you. And kind of following up on that, the coaching that you get during these workouts, a lot of times you, some, there are some guys that would say, okay, I got that. But other, there are other guys that kind of take that to heart. Are you a, a take it to heart kind of guy? And I know you say you, you work on the feedback, but as you're going through the drills during the actual workout, is that... Is that common? Is that, I mean, how does that, how does that work for you? I mean, it's fine. So it's a workout. So whatever they want you to do or do better then you just do it. Cause you know, it's just a workout. So whatever they want you to do, just do it. And just go on from there. And Trav, if I can sneak one more in here. Yep. As, go ahead. Last question. As, as you have these, these workouts, these are essentially job interviews. I mean, you're not sitting across a desk talking to somebody. So how, how much pressure is there to put your best foot forward so you, you give them the best possible version of you on the floor? I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's simple for me. I mean, of course, there's a lot of pressure because you want to give them a good impression of you and leave a great impression. But 
you know, it's just talking to them. You know, I, I feel like the interview is just conversation. Really, I want to get to know you. I want to get to know them. So I feel like it's just conversation. So I feel like it's, it's smooth sailing.